Hello, Serge here from the Backyard Driving Range. All right, we got an In Your Own Words that came in, and I, I, I kind of also wrote beside this a revelation, all right? And uh, this comes from, Ar uh, I guess it's Arian Batty, and Arian says this, about a year ago, I was stupid to call Don on here, which I later said I was sorry for. I believe he must have, must have made some comments about that I was wrong on the blog, all right? I have since watched all his videos, and after being a pro for 34 years myself, my game is now back to the best it's been in the last 20 plus years. I only wish I was on his side of the pond to go and see for lessons. Thank you, Don. Keep up the great work, mate. Okay, so I guess that's either probably Australia being mate. Well, I'll be coming to your side of the pond next this November, so maybe I can get to meet you. But I, but I think one of the greatest things that we can about about life is the search for knowledge. All right. And I believe in as far as the golf swing goes, knowledge and understanding equals commitment and conviction. All right. And so if once you have knowledge and you know what's correct, you know, it, especially when you know that this golf swing is based 100 percent on science, physics of how the how the club and the body are designed to move, especially the club and hitting the ball and then and then physiology and anatomy. OK. And it's, it's, it's the only one really sounded on founded on both of those. And so we should always be in a search to find out what's right. And then many times we can we could have been led astray or we we found something that we thought was quite right. And then and then in keeping your mind open. See, that's the whole thing. Keeping your mind open. There are a lot of golf pros out there that that have worked hard to get a golf swing and they ended up shutting up their mind, shutting down their mind, whether they be the players or to be teachers. All right. And I mean, if, especially if you're an instructor, never and never mind being a player. I mean, I don't want guys out there changing their swing every day, but if, if what you got, if you have a lot of talent and you're having a lot of trouble having consistency day in and day out, and, and, and you know that you have talent and you can't hit the ball that well, then you got to start, you got to, you have to start looking at it and becoming, and, and, and maybe questioning, is this really the best way? And, and when you open up and open up your mind like that, you search and you might try something. And if it's really good and what if it, what's everybody that's every surgite that's come here and become a surgite? When they found when they found peak performance golf swing, what do they say? It makes sense. It makes sense because it's physics. And 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 as soon as you start thinking about that, you know it conforms to physics, and you know it conforms to physiology, anatomy. And then as soon as you start hitting golf ball, it doesn't take. You learn it really fast. It doesn't take one of these uh, things like it's going to take you two years to learn this golf swing, which. Some guys have said, pros have said that to, to guys who were once ranked number one in the world uh, in, on, in professional golf. To tell a number one guy in the world takes two years, do you think the, all of us, the rad, rad average folks, or especially amateurs out there, are going to have a chance of learning it? No chance. All right? So, so the whole key here is, is an open mind. He kept an open mind, and, 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 he, and, he, and he gave it a shot, and he, and he paid attention to what he was doing, and it proved to be correct. All right? So... Knowledge, understanding, use commitment and conviction. And so when you're when you the, the most important thing about this about the peak performance golf swing is simply that not only is it simple, but it conforms to the laws. And the number one thing you always have to be looking at is consistency. All right? And and num the number one rule I think that that's important to playing golf is and playing better golf, no matter what your level is, is the degree of error in the golf swing. And and I've always said, if you increase error, you decrease success, all right? And if you have increased error at a high margin of error, that means, A, you will have, you will have more, hit more bad shots, and it'll likely be more bad. And what is, what is a lot of good golfers saying? I think Ben Hogan was one of the first ones to say it. He said, you're only as good as you misses, all right? And he who misses best wins. I've said that a lot. I don't know if Hogan said that, or I said it, or somebody else said it, or I've made it a compilation of other things. But that's one of my number one statements. He who misses best wins. And what's a good miss? It stays in play. All right? And if you stay in play, you've got a better chance of what? Getting the ball on or near the green so you can get it up and down. So good misses aren't just drives. And actually, the longer the shot, the more important it is to have a better miss. Because the longer the shot is hit, it has more time to get to go bad and get in the worst places all right so we want to play a game that we have good misses all right and then you know and then the key about those good misses is knowing how to how to tolerate them i mean i've seen players that uh, students that i've had and i've gone out and played golf with them and they hit a poor shot and they get they go ballistic so to speak and i tell you what every now and then i'll, I'll just and i see something out of control i'm i've, I've said this and I go right up to him and I say, look, you're not good enough to be that mad about that shot because that shot wasn't that bad. It's still in play. Let's get real here. All right. So I think one of the biggest things is, is, is learn to tolerance. All right. 
and, and I know that Dr. Bob Rotella, who's one of the leading sports psychologists, has been for the last 30 years, all right? And Dr. Rotella, I like everything he says because he was a scratch golfer. I've, I gave him a lesson or two when I was down at, at Sea Pines. And, and one of the things he came out with, he had a he had a audio tape system, you know, those little tapes you stick in, you used to be able to stick in your car and a little player. I forget, I don't even know what they call them now. Those things are so ancient, probably nobody has a machine that could use them anymore. And he had a tape, and one of them, tape two was called Learning to Be Your Own Best Friend. And the basic gist of tape two was, you got to talk to yourself the same way that you talk to to your a partner, if you were if you were playing in a two ball and you had a partner, right? Your partner hits a lousy shot, uh, a poor shot, and he's getting all upset. He says, hey, don't worry about it, don't worry about it, man. You're still in play. So you had to guess a pretty decent miss, right? You're still in play, man. You can get it up and down from there and make par. Or you can you can pitch that one out of the woods or out of the right, out of the rough, get it up near, you know, somewhere near the green, wedge it on and make and make the make a putt. All right? Don't give up. You, it's not over till it's over, right? And so that's the way you need to talk to yourself. And many, many times back then when I was playing the mini tours and, 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 and playing a lot of tournaments and trying to get my PJ card, and my car had one of those cassette players, I used to listen to that a lot on the way to the golf course, okay? And I used to listen to it a lot because I thought that was, that was good. And, 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 and it's all, I think most of you out there are going to realize and, and agree, most of us, many golfers talk, talk so bad to themselves, I mean, they wouldn't, they, they're almost as bad as if they, as if they'd have to say about a dog who just bit them, okay? And so... That's not going to help. Learn to be your own best friend. Learn to, there's nothing better. I stand here sometimes and I've gone, the best example I could say is I've gone after a par five, tried that, gone hit it in two, and I, and I got to go after a little bit more and I, and I, and I, I go after it and, and I've cold topped it right down the middle, but the ball rolls 200 yards right down the middle. You think I'm cussing myself up and down? I'm saying, nice miss, Don, right down the middle of the fairway. And I got a little flip wedge to the green. That's the way to play better golf. Nobody hits them all perfect. Nobody. So you gotta, the key is, he who misses best wins. It's all about good misses. Good misses stay in play. When you're in play, you got a chance to keep making those pars and birdies. And at worst, bogeys, if you get it up near the green, getting it on and getting your in, uh, two putty. So that's the key to good golf. That's how you score better, keeping the ball in play. No penalties, no lost balls. All those other things is what just destroys it. And those are balls that usually, really bad hits, cold topped it into a lake or push them way right in the lakes or, or woods or whatever. Keep, it, keep the ball relatively straight and that's the name of PPGS. That would, that's what PPGS gives you. Good hits, good misses, shoot lower numbers, play better golf. That's it for the search for today. Attitude is important. Be nice to yourself. Talk to yourself nicely and you'll be shooting those lower scores. That's it for the search for today and I'll be talking with you all again soon.